Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So today's video is one that I wanted to do for a long time, and I was actually reminded by my sis Candy from my book book Instagram to actually make this video so I actually recorded this video maybe two nights ago when I'm just now making the intro for you guys but this video is going to be all about you basically doing dye sprayed edges on your books and for those who don't know what dyed sprayed edges are they're basically when you take a book and you know how your books normally have like a white edge to it let me see if I can just grab one a random book here so normally when you get a brand new book or you buy a book, your edges are just white like the paper. But in the booktube community, there is something called dyed sprayed edges or just sprayed edges in general, where sometimes they have limited edition books that come out with different colored edges. I love that for my fictional novels. I love it so much. I actually recently did that to a few of my fictional novels. And I've been wanting to do it to some of my Christian fiction novels for a long time. And so I did. So this video is me showing you guys how to do it. It's not like me walking you through it, but it'll be sped apart. So I'm making this intro as well as the talking portion to include in between. So basically I took six books. I did three fiction novels and three Christian nonfictions and I painted the edges, which I, I initially wanted to do pink for this book just because her shirt is pink, but I went with this teal color and I love it. So the supplies you're going to need are basically acrylic paints and make sure they're acrylic. I buy my acrylic paints either from Walmart or from Michaels. So some of the ones I have are the Craft Smart. Um, I believe these are from, from Michaels if I'm not mistaken. But these are just the Craft Smart ones. So I have a bunch of these colors. I have some metallic ones. I have Classic Gold. I have Sapphire, which I love this color. And then the other brand that I've come across is called Folk Art. Um, looks like that, Folk Art. So you need different colored acrylic paints. Then you need brushes. Um, I just use these. I even use a Crayola <laughs> paintbrush. Just any type of brush. You also need something to put your paint into. So it can be a palette, a, a little bowl or something. I bought a bunch of these little disposable bowls. I think either from the dollar store or from Michaels. Can't remember, but I bought a bunch of these. And um, when I say I have a lot of paint, you guys, I keep my paints inside of here. Um, pretty much basic colors, but I do have every now and then the fun colors and stuff like that. So, I love, 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 love painting the edges of my books. And I'll throw a picture up here right now of the ones that I had recently did and posted on my book Instagram account, which is Nay's Pink Bookshelf. But, um, I posted this picture because I was, I was bored and decided why not. So I painted my books and, um... I've been wanting to do it for a long time with my Christian books, and I finally did it. So, like I said, I did three nonfiction, and then I did three fiction. So, the fiction novels I did was The Camera Never Lies by David Rawlings. This is contemporary fiction, and um, it's about a guy and his family, him, his wife, and his daughter. There's marital issues, there's family issues, and he gets hold of an old camera. And every time he takes a picture, the camera reveals something that could basically destroy his family and relationship but for this one you guys can see the colors you have this kind of teal and blue and turquoise and hints of purple so I went with lavender and I love it so much and the pages turn just as fine um now it is a long struggle um which I'll show you guys shortly but then I did this one which is arcade in the triple t coin by Rashad Jennings which is a middle grade fictional novel teal of course and then I did this book here because I love it and I'm going to show you guys what I mean in a second by how hard it is but um the girl behind the red rope by Ted Decker and Rochelle Decker yes Ted Decker and his daughter Rochelle Decker and I did this in black the reason why I did it in black it was originally going to be red but the actual hardcover is red so I went with black to match the spine and you can still see my tabs um now I left a few pages in my book stuck together so I could show you guys the process so it doesn't take long it's a really quick process um painting because acrylic paint quick dries quickly but the process situation comes in when you're separating your pages and I want to show you guys this because it could be scary the first time I did this I freaked out because I thought I was working my pages but if you guys can see here I'm looking at 
the, the, the camera instead of the lens to make sure I'm in frame. But you guys can see it's stuck together. And you just pull it apart. So I'm going to try to... Okay, so this one, there's a bunch of pages stuck together. Hopefully you guys can hear this. It sounds like I'm ripping the pages, but I'm not. So if you're going to do this, beware that it will be a little scary because you have to pull the pages apart and it sounds like you're ripping your pages. And for me, I freaked out the first time I did this because I was like, oh my God, I'm ripping my pages. But then the more I got into it, the better I got. And now all of my pages are separated. So I can just fan through my book, no problem. So I did this one in black. And we're going to keep moving. So moving on to the Christian nonfiction, because I said I did three of those. I did Suffering is Never for Nothing by Elizabeth Elliot. Um, I did this, and I did it in gold just because the hardcover itself is navy blue with gold foiling. So I did gold for that one. Tony Evans' Pathways. I love this book, Five Stars. Definitely in my top for 2019. But I did rose gold for this one. So gorgeous. And I did remove the tabs. I put the tabs on the inside of the book, which you will see in the video. But, um, yeah. So if your book has tabs, I would suggest doing this with a book that you haven't read yet. Or if you have tabs in your book, you would have to push them further into the book so that they're not painted on. It can be a hassle, which is why I prefer to do this on, like, freshly read books. <laughs> so, yeah. And then we have this one, which I think I'm loving the most. Lies Women Believe by Nancy DeMoss Wogameth. And I did this one in red. So... Basically, the first step you need to do is get your materials, which is your acrylic paint, something to put your paint on, and some paint brushes. The second thing, your second step, is basically to select the books. You can do this with paperback books. I will do a video on that because I recently did a paperback book myself and I loved it. Paperbacks seem to be a lot easier to do than hardcovers for some reason, but we'll get into that. Um, so, you need your paint your brushes in something to put your paints on you're going to need to select your books the third thing you're going to need is some type of extra paper it can be newspaper it can be construction paper i use construction paper because what you're going to do is you're going to take off the dust jacket and wrap the construction paper around your hardcover book or your paperback cover so that you're not damaging the cover itself you'll see that in the video um and then you're just basically going to paint your book and one coat is really all you need. I buy opaque paint, so I don't ever really find the need to go over multiple times. I do go over twice just because that's just me in general. I have, Even when painting my nails, got to do three coats. So on the book, I normally do two thin coats so that I make sure that it's opaque enough. Um, you guys can see, like, there's nothing, like... I mean, there's a little splotch here and there, but it doesn't look too bad. So, basically that. Um... After that, what you're going to do is move it to the side and let it dry. Once you let it dry, you're going to take off the construction paper that's covering up your hardcovers cover, basically. And then you're going to bend the pages slightly. And you'll see in the video what I mean by bending the pages. But you are going to bend your pages so that it can loosen up the paint a little. And then ever so slowly, page by page, you're going to pull your pages apart because the paint will cause the pages to stick together. Most people don't do acrylic paint. They prefer to do um, actual spray paint, which is definitely easier and cleaner to do just with spray paint. But the thing with spray paint is the fumes and stuff like that, which is why I prefer acrylic paint and it's very therapeutic for me. But um, you are going to ever so gently take your time and pull your pages apart. And that honestly is where the time consuming portion comes from because depending on how big your book is, you're going to be sitting there for a long time pulling pages apart and pulling a page because you want to make sure your pages are good. Now, again, I would suggest if this is your first time doing it and you're not 100% sure about doing it, use a book that you don't care for, like, or not even that you don't care for, but use a book that you could easily go by and replace. Um, like I said, the first time I did this, I really didn't care how it came out. Um, I, well, let me not say I didn't care how it came out. I didn't care if the book got damaged, per se, but it came out perfectly fine. There were some errors here and there, but I've learned to improve over the time. I recently did a bunch of my other books, and I'm actually going to grab some of them for you guys to see how they look. Hold on. Okay, so 
I did a paperback book. This is a paperback. This it, These books are not Christian related, but I'm showing you guys so you guys can see. But this is definitely a paperback, and you guys can see I did it in black. And all the pages are easy to flip through. Then I did this one here, which is YA Fantasy, um, and I did it in this very pretty blue. My favorite one is probably this one. <laughs> this one is... I did it in hot pink, which I just, I loved the way it looks. And then I did this one here in orange. And these are the ones that you guys saw in that photo I posted. And then this one I did in gold. So, um, you know, you can definitely do it. It's definitely fun to do. It's very therapeutic. But I would say if you're going to start off, just grab a book you really don't care for. Um, and that you don't mind replacing easily if you mess up. And even if you mess up, I mean it's your book. I don't plan on ever selling my books, honestly, which is why I do what I do. I write in my books. I paint on them because I don't ever plan to sell them. I, My intent on buying books is that way I can have my own personal library. Um, I do have books that I will be giving away to my library. But other than that, I don't plan to sell books. So I don't mind writing and painting on them. So this is just something you guys can do if you're interested. Um, I, again... I love the way this looks, like, on my shelf. It's going to be so pretty. Um, so, yeah, and I did it just for pure fun because I felt like doing it. So if you guys are interested in doing it, um, just watch the video. It's not a talking video, of course, but um, you guys can see me paint my books. And, um, yeah, so let's get into the video. Thank you. 
Alright guys, thank you guys for watching, rating, commenting, subscribing, and all that great stuff. If you are not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And if you are, click the bell to stay notified, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!